or spoilers alert. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I have been watching The Outer Banks. And first of all, if you haven't seen it, it's a good show. It's basically about a whole bunch of kids solving like a mystery type thing and like a treasure is involved. And it sounds corny, but it's actually like pretty good. Um, the first season was good. Um, they just came out with the second season like literally the other day. So right now I'm actually watching the finale of the second season. And first of all, this second season, to all of the cast, it was like every episode, literally my face is like, and right now I'm watching the ending. So spoilers alert, you're going to hear it because I need to watch it and I need to find out what the happens and if they're gonna come out with the second with the second season with the third season um i i need to see like if it's a cliffhanger i need I, I need to see so my reactions right now to otter banks um jaw jaw dropping i'm i'm literally here for it so if you haven't seen it get off this right now and go watch it so you know what i'm talking about Oh my god, JJ. Oh my god, JJ. I'm tearing up. Everybody thought he was dead anyways, right, John B? So just God, just throw him over. Everybody thought he was dead anyways. Wow. JJ and Cleo. Cleo? I mean, JJ and Key in the water right now? I agree with you, Pope. If you can't have it, no one can. Go, Pope. Go, Pope. I was pretty shocked at Cleo, by the way, for helping them. She came out of nowhere, but I love it. I'm here for you, Cleo. So now they're trying to get this. Cleo and Pope, though? JJ and Key? Oh no, they're getting it out. They're getting the cross out. He's probably fine because like JJ is a main character, so he's probably fine. I tear up at situations like this, so don't mind me. Damn it. They got the cross. I freaking hate Sarah's brother. I can't even remember his name. That's like just, I freaking hate him. Yay, JJ's alive. And we're 15 minutes, 13 minutes left. And they just said it's not over. This better be like an amazing freaking ending because the way that I tell you this season has like, it has become like one of my favorites. The first season was good and I liked the first season, which is why obviously I came back. But um, this second season has become like a, like a, just a great season. Unexpected things. like the first season you have to come back and watch the second season because it's oh. the dad's still alive okay, 
I love how also this season, don't love it, but like it's it just made the season better. How literally everybody in Sarah's family tried to kill her at one point, except for her, maybe her little sister. Her little sister didn't, but she doesn't know what's going on. So that's also the hard part, cause like her little sister has no idea what's going on, but like everybody else in her family has tried to kill her in the past, like. 24 hours it's freaking crazy not gonna lie pope you are looking good honestly all of them john b i mean everybody was like john b for a season which he is cute like who wouldn't be here for john b i love jj's personality Glandia. I love their friendship. They're just like such a cute like Pogue family. I love it. John B. Wow. John B. Oh shoot. Wait, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on. So Sarah's like ex-boyfriend, like she somehow comes back to him, but like he's still looking for her. When you go to their house, do you not notice that like the whole family's not there, not just Sarah? Like, the whole family is literally not there. So, I mean, not saying, like, you should not cry because, like, you know. But, like, you really don't know because the brother tried to kill her, like, three times. That's not how it's ending. By the campfire. Okay. Thank you. Give me more. Give me more. We have, in the Barbados, six minutes left of this season, folks. Give me something good. Give me something good, Pogue Life. Give me a good ending. But she's going through a house. She's taking forever to get there, but she's also has crutches, so. Do I know why she's hurt? No, but that's how she was introduced to the season. <gasps> what? Is that John B's dad? Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So, yes, I just finished the season, and what? First of all, first of all, this guy, they, okay, you know what? Everybody, ugh, if you are an Outer Banks cast, I need you. I'm literally going to tag all of you guys in this because I need you guys to come back with the third season to tell me what the just happened because I'm literally like what um I'm all over the place okay so my brain is like on like fast forward right now okay so that ending by the way first of all I want to say who's that man but I feel like it's John B's dad and if that's the case then he's not dead and then it goes into another story there because that means everybody's been lying about their death because that's what a lot of this was this season. Um, very adventurous this season and a lot of like jokes, but like good jokes and corny jokes were happening. Um, so the, the girl that plays Kiara, <laughs> the other day she actually posted a picture of like herself and then her caption was, what's your favorite line? And I literally, like, I'll probably, like, put the link below because I literally read all of them. And I was like, yes, this was good. This was good. That was good. And I didn't know, like, what line to post myself because they had such great lines. But, all right. So, my opinion about this. First of all, absolutely love the second season. Such a freaking good season. The second season. Um, but if you didn't watch the first season, you got to go back and watch it because you won't know what's happening in the second season. So that's one. Second thing, um, what I loved was every time that the friends reunited, like they had little like adventures and then like they reunited and it was so great because I'm like all about like the family and friends and like just they just came together at like perfect timing and it was beautiful. Um, they were left on an island and their family were looking for them. So that's how like that left with the Pogues. 
Um, Kiara and JJ. Pope and Cleo. John B and Sarah. They were already married from the beginning. So the whole thing with John B and Sarah was just like, because I like them together. My only thing throughout this season was the fact that like she was kind of like, I don't want to say going against because she was already against her family, but like it was like she had to choose every time. So I kind I felt bad for her because like it's literally she has to choose between her family and her boyfriend it was just a boyfriend so boyfriend but they like kind of got married air quotes my air quotes are terrible but so they like kind of got married but so because of that it was kind of just like okay they're in this together and every time it was like I felt like John B was making Sarah was making Sarah like have to choose with him and not like her family I mean in her incidents though like I would choose John B just because like her family has tried to kill her literally like every other episode in this season. As much as like her dad was like, oh, I love my daughter and stuff like that. Like he didn't love her. He like clearly wanted to kill her at the end, closer to the end. Um, the brother, hate him. Absolutely hate him. He's the worst character ever. Um, probably a good human being in real life, but like in the show, I absolutely hate you. Okay, great. Um, and so that turned into that. Um, love how John, uh, John, JJ, he's literally, JJ, Kiara, and Pope. Well, JJ and Kiara are really just, like, the two that I'm, like, they're literally always down for everything, no matter, like, how hard it is at home. Like, they're always, like, I got your back. Like, they're always just very, very supportive, and I love that, because, like, you always need those friends that, like, will always have your back no matter what um no matter how crazy your plan is no matter how idiotic their like adventures are uh, i love that absolutely love that um and literally all their adventures were all their adventures were freaking crazy it wasn't just like realistically like let's i don't want to say rob a bank because that's still pretty bad but like it wasn't just like something simple it was like let's break john b out of jail what how hmm. okay but they i mean i'm not gonna say they because they didn't really they tried jj tried to break him out of jail um but didn't succeed but he ended up like because he was he wasn't supposed to be in jail all that extra stuff um did i say spoilers okay spoilers <laughs> um but yeah and like it just it's so hard because it's like i want I wanted to love Kiara this season. Like, I wanted to love her. I absolutely adored Kiara the first season. This second season, I adore her in real life. Like, she's so cute. And, like, she has, like, a great personality because I follow her on Instagram, which, uh, again, I'll drop, like, all their Instagrams below. But, like, Kiara this season was very, very annoying. She was very annoying. Um, I want to say, literally, in every episode, she annoyed me. Why did she annoy me? She annoyed me because her and Pope, first of all, her and Pope, like, let it happen. You know what I mean? I feel like I agree to a certain extent. Like, they've been friends forever. Like, do they want to change their relationships? I get that. But, like, if you like somebody and you're really friends with them, I don't think friendship should really change much. Unless if, like, unless if, like, you guys talk about it. So I feel like... Pope tried to talk to Kiara and was kind of just like, you know, if we do anything, I hope this doesn't change us. Because that's what Pope was scared of. Pope was scared of, like, his relationship and Kiara's relationship, like, going south because then, like, hooking up. Which I understand. And then Kiara just got, like, really, really weird about it. And it, like, frustrated me. And it made me feel so bad because I was like, Pope really likes you. And I'm not saying that, like, just because somebody likes you, drop everything. No, but, like, Pope really likes her. And he said that he liked her. He didn't really say it. But he, like, kind of was, like, trying to suss it out. And their relationship just got, like, really weird after. It just got super, like, weird and kooky. And, like, if they do come out with another season, predictions ready. If they do come out with another season, season three of Otter Banks, 
um, Outer Banks. I keep on saying Otter. Outer Banks. Um, so first, relationships-wise, JJ and Kiara. Kia Kiara. They're, they're, yeah, like that, that's a, that might be a thing. And I'm sure it's probably all over the internet because I think I saw comments underneath her picture. But anyways, JJ and Kiara, done. John B and Sarah, already known. Pope and Cleo. Pope and Cleo, though, I'm here for it. Um, I'm, I'm just here for it. I'm here for it. They're cute. Like, I love that Cleo even came back um, just because she was such, like, a cute character. Like, of course, like, not of course, but, like, I didn't even like her in the beginning because I thought she was, was trying to, I mean, she was trying to kill them. But I love that they brought her back and they kind of were just like, all right, you're going to be a Pogue. By the end of the season, it was like, Pogue for life. Love that. Okay. Um, so that's relationship wise. Um, Sarah's relationships between Sarah and her family. Probably still rocky and probably won't ever happen again. Um, just because, again, like I will continue to say... If anybody is on dad's side, he tried to kill her 3,000 times, as well as the brother. Um, her little sister is so cute, but she doesn't know what's going on, so it's hard to explain with her. Um, her mom, her, even her stepmom tried to kill her. What is happening? Um, what else? That's that um, with relationships. And then storyline, though. Okay, so Carly Lim, I don't even know how to explain it. So Carly Limbrook, Lim, 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 whatever. She, I want to know, question mark, who she actually like went to see. Was that John B's dad? I'm, right? Like, am I going crazy? Was that John B's dad? And if it is, like he's not dead and he hasn't been dead this whole time. And John B did what for nothing, like, but also they got the cross and like Sarah's family has a cross. And so what are they? And then the brother's like, oh, I'll get her back. You're not getting anybody back. Um, you're, you're really not. You're, you're just not. <sighs> um, so John B's dad I keep on saying John B's dad because I feel like it is him, but I don't really know who that guy was. I mean, he kind of looked like John B, but like didn't, so I don't really know. And he just said, I need you to help me get my son or help my son. One, two, three, four. Okay. So, yeah, that's all I really have for you guys. Comment below all of the great stuff if you watch Outer, Outer Banks. Please tell me what you thought about the second season because I was going crazy for the past day watching it, binge watching it, and like really looking at it and like jaw drop, literally jaw drop every other episode. Um, yeah, jaw drop or like in tears like you saw before when I was watching. Um, not in tears, but like tearing up because I was just like, what? excuse me how i love it um yeah and that is my reaction of season two outer banks thanks for watching like subscribe and share